Smurfs up, y'all. This is Tamara just saw. And Cody also just saw two as well, Smurfily. We just saw Smurfs 3. Yes, and it was Smurfin' awesome. We did not see Smurfs 1 and 2. Go ahead and smash that thumbs down, yeah, dislike we button. Did, but I will also say this, uh, you shouldn't have an opinion on this, this Smurf movie unless you've read the original Belgian comic, Le Strumpf. So, come at me. <laughs> I don't know what anything you just said means, but I'm very into it. And Belgium is a country in Europe. What? Yeah, Jean-Claude Van Damme is from there. Who? <laughs> I just adored this movie for what it was. We realized that this wasn't made for us, specifically, as yes. we are adults. We are adults. I am not a child, but I do still get bullied by them regularly. It's uh. just facts. That's <laughs> science. But yeah, so we're just gonna give our, you know, like, our impressions as, as who we are. So you guys can have opinions. Also, we can. It's like we live in a world where everybody's different. <laughs> just like the Smurfs. <laughs> Oh, that was really nice. <laughs> <laughs> it was surprisingly fun. Okay, the movie starts off and we go to the 3D showing because that was in our time zone of when we could go. And the 3D was awful. It was just like a little off. So everything was crazy blurry. It was actually clearer if you took your glasses off. I left my glasses on and closed one eye. Bad move. No, because it was a little better if you closed one eye with the glasses. Maybe that was the same thing to have the glasses off. Just red. Yeah, that's... Kind of how 3D works. Right. Well, now I know. <laughs> okay. I figured it out eventually, Cody. 40 minutes into the film. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, around there. I walked up and I was like, hey, can we maybe change it? And he was like, yeah, for sure. And then he goes yeah. and, like, literally changes it immediately. I was like, all right. Sure. Tamara was so emboldened by the, the strong feminist overtones of the Smurfs movie that she finally just went out and took care of it. Which, I mean, to be fair, the only people that could take care of it were one of us or the one family that was also in the theater because we were the only people there. Who knew this would be so fun after it didn't look like mush anymore? One thing that was really great about the movie uh, right off the bat was that the casting is fantastic. Not only do they have really awesome actors, but they just did a really good job of casting them. Mm -hmm. Everybody fits really well. Yeah. I especially like standout people was Rain Wilson, who I am obsessed with. As Gargamel. A casting thing that I thought was a little weird was Michelle Rodriguez. She plays the tough Smurf. And um, she's always playing a tough character and I really enjoy her and I think she's amazing. It was kind of weird saying like, such a tough Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> Man, just a little too tough. <laughs> camera's got a lot of inborn prejudices against <laughs> Smurfs apparently. I loved uh, um, what Jack Bra uh, McBrayer is a uh, uh, dopey Smurf, or is a clumsy Smurf. Uh, no, I'm just naming dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I like, and then I like Danny Pudi as Doc Smurf, uh, and then <laughs> as Brainy Smurf. But I thought Danny Pudi was a perfect casting uh, for Brainy Smurf. I thought he was a lot of fun. And then I really enjoyed when we got to the Lost Smurf Village. I really liked Eat, Pray, Love Smurf and Kimmy Schmidt Smurf. They were my favorites. <laughs> Kimmy Schmidt Smurf was amazing. Kimmy Schmidt, Kimmy Schmurf is amazing. Kimmy Schmurf. Kimmy Schmurf. So the 3D was off, and it took me a second to get really into it, but. Honestly, I was not expecting to like laugh as much. I had genuine laughs. Yeah, I, I laughed a lot. Uh, and I haven't, I haven't laughed in a while. <laughs> especially, <laughs> especially, uh, oh, no. especially with the movies we've been seeing for this show lately. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know if I could enjoy film again. <laughs> the whole thing was just fun and interesting. Like that's all I could, like that's kind of all I can really say is like, I came in, I came in with really low expectations, but I'm, when it, in any situation, I'm always open and hopeful that I will be proven wrong or that it'll be better because who wants to sit for an hour and a half through something terrible? Like, I'm actively going to try to enjoy the movie if I'm given a sliver of a chance to. And it's easy to get me on your side. Like, it is mm -hmm. not hard for me to enjoy something, and I really enjoyed this. Yeah, I mean, we laughed. I cried. Uh, I teared I went, up at the end. I went on an emotional <laughs> roller coaster. <laughs> I wrote down that the animal sidekicks were my favorite part of the movie. Yeah, they had a. So that was a really cool thing too that I wasn't expecting. They did a good job, you know, like for a kids, for a fun kids movie of like world building, like building mm -hmm. out past Smurf Village. They had all these really cool animals. They had all of these really cool things. Like they had, there's this river that turns into a Mario Kart racetrack, basically. Like the mm -hmm. bunny has like horse sounds and it glows in the dark. Yeah, the glow bunnies. I, yeah. And they named him Bucky, which I liked as a nice reference to Captain Bucky O'Hare. It was, it was a very <laughs> obvious Captain Bucky O'Hare reference. And I appreciated that definite reference they were making. I totally got that. Mm. 
dead eye duck. <laughs> dragonflies who had um like fire breath. Fire breath. Because like, they were dragonflies. Great, right. It was super cute. I just got that. <laughs> I, I literally just now got that. They're dragonflies. That's, but you got the Bucky reference. That's, that's all I'm... that matters. This is my favorite note. Of course, Cody's biggest laugh was when the cat pulled out opera glasses. It was a great moment. <laughs> I laughed so hard. I had to stop myself from laughing. It was like, it was Emma Watson snowball face laughter. If you know anything it, about Cody, you know <laughs> that that would be his biggest laugh. It was great because like, okay, it's super adorable. He like, because Gargan Ball is looking through binoculars and then he whips out opera glasses and he's like, wah, wah, wah. But also, like, where did he get the glasses? Like, where's he holding? He didn't pay him. He's a cat. <laughs> where did he get those glasses? But yes, yeah. I loved the relationship with Gargamel and the cat, and also the bird. Yeah, the, like an eagle condor thing. <laughs> I don't, yeah. He keeps referring to it as a different name, which is so funny. <laughs> what Smurf would you be? Oh, man. Uh, I don't, uh, my problem is, like, I feel like, I feel like I'm just a brainy Smurf. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe witty Smurf? Like, <laughs> Uh, oh, obscure references, Smurf. You That's are my... <laughs> obscure references, Smurf, for sure. What Smurf would you be? I don't know. People, people call me uh, Smurf all the time because of my hair. Okay. Which I don't feel is fair. What if what? What if you lean into it and okay. you go with hair flip Smurf? <gasps> oh. I don't know. I think if I was a Smurf, I would probably just be the cat. <laughs> <laughs> well, then can I change mine to the bird? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm the bird. You're the cat. Then we're friends. There we go. <laughs> yeah. That was a really good high five. That too. was solid. We just knocked that out of the park. That high five was as good as the movie. <sighs> Go ahead and smash that thumbs down button for that high five, people. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of Smurf would you be? Comment below. <laughs> we hate Jammer and Cody. <laughs> <laughs> the Smurfs were way more magical than I thought they were. I thought they were just tiny blue people, but apparently they have inherent magical powers. I know nothing about Smurfs, so. Well, because you didn't read the original Belgian comic. Right. Wolf. <laughs> I will own up to that. I've not read that. My favorite ancillary Smurf uh, would be Stripper Cop Smurf at the very end. <laughs> Stripper Cop Smurf, best Smurf. Best Smurf. He wins best Smurf. Out of nowhere. He just surprises you. They have a Like huge... a real stripper does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have a huge Smurfin' party at the end uh, with choreography, of course. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you yeah, know, if you do. Uh, and there's a Stripper Cop Smurf. Uh, and he's great. He's solid. I want to know who plays him. I don't think they gave him a voice actor because he doesn't say anything, but I hope, I, I wish they would have. Mm -hmm. And I would like to retroactively play him if they could just <laughs> add me on the IMDb. I wish the two turns, because there's kind of two turns. I wish that they'd been slightly less obvious, but it's a kid's movie. So it's like, we're again, adults. So we're going to probably see that a little more mm -hmm. than a child would. Um, we would hope. We would, I mean, yeah. We, well, I mean, I, I would hope the children are smart. I say that in about 98% of the reaction videos that I do for this channel is, wow, it's not what I was expecting. Blah, 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 I'm Tamara, blah, blah. Actually, I did write that down as a guess. I said one of the things I thought about Tamara was she's not going, it's not going to be what she expected. And Listen. it's going to be different than what she thought. Listen, you get what you pay for with Tamara. You know what's going to happen. <laughs> Is that in that I don't know what's gonna happen? It was way better than what I was expecting, which is the best yeah. to go into a film. Also, like half of the movie, we couldn't even see it, and it was still a good outcome. <laughs> like pretty good. Yeah. No complaints. I'll co-sign everything. <laughs> All that sign, sealed, delivered. I'm yours. <laughs> I'm not saying this ruined the movie, obviously, but you know we're here to talk about our impressions in the movie. Whether how much of the cat was understood by Gargamel is unclear, and again children's movie. I don't really care, but if we're addressing it, <laughs> you uh, do. I, I care a little. <laughs> it bothered me slightly. And this happens actually a lot in animation with animals and humans. At certain times, it was clear that Gargamel like could understand him as if he was speaking English. And then at other times when it served the plot better, it, he, it was just meowing. And Gargamel's like, quiet you, I'm trying to do stuff over here. So that was just a weird thing that ruined the movie entirely for me. Does this tie into the first two? Because I know the first two have Neil Patrick Harris. No, that's Trolls. No. <laughs> Is that Smurfs? I believe it was uh, Care Bears. There was no <laughs> Care Bear movie. My Little Pony? This did have a weird Care Bear ending. Uh-huh. Oh, that was yeah, a very, the it end, did. The Smurfette ending is a very Care Bear type ending. I, I, I kept screaming Care Bear stare in my head. Like, like... <laughs> well, we didn't see the anime Smurfs, so smash that dislike button. <laughs> I'm being snarky Smurf. Snarky Smurf. I would also be snarky Smurf. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm multitude Smurf. Yeah, we are not just one type of Smurf. Right? And I liked 
that that was the message. That was the lesson really is nice. that you don't have to just be one thing. Final thoughts. I thought it was super fun, super cute, genuine laughs, loved the cat. Good. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you next week. Like, like a, a smurf, smurf in a shell. shell.